The control bar is a handy way of accessing common functions and contains most of the tools and information needed for working with projects. It consists of several modules, each containing various controls that are closely related to each other. By default, the control bar is docked at the top of the track view. It can, however, be docked at the bottom, floated, or hidden. These options can be selected from the menu accessed by right-clicking on any area of the control bar, except a control or display. Alternatively, click-drag it into position, or press C to show or hide it. The individual modules can also be hidden and dragged into any other order that you wish. Each module has a grab bar at its left edge that can be used to click-drag the module into position. Depending on screen resolution, one or more of the modules may be off-screen. If that is the case, those modules have the word off-screen against their names in the menu. The Tools module is used for tool and draw resolution selection. Several of the tools have more than one mode, and this is indicated by a triangle in the bottom right-hand corner. Click on this triangle to see and select the alternate modes. The Snap module can be used to turn Snap to Grid on or off and also adjust those settings. There are two separate Snap settings to configure, and they can be changed between by pressing N for a temporary change or permanently by pressing Shift plus Control plus N. The Transport module contains standard transport controls, play, record, stop, fast forward, rewind, and other navigation controls. The display area shows the current now time, project sample rate, and bit depth, as well as meter and tempo information. The metronome can also be controlled and configured from here. The loop module is used to set loop points to selection. Set them manually by clicking in one of the display fields. The loop can also be turned on and off here. The mix module is there to configure, mute, solo, arm for recording, effects bypass and automation playback and recording settings. The top row of buttons are global buttons for mute, solo, record, and input echo states. If the button is lit, clicking on it will cancel the state. If not, clicking on a button will turn it on globally. Directly beneath the mute button is the PDC button, which overrides plug-in delay compensation on any live input tracks, and beneath that is the Bypass Effects button, which when lit, bypasses all effects globally. Beneath the Solo button are two buttons for turning on solo modes. The top one is for exclusive solo, meaning only one track can be soloed at a time, and the bottom one turns on Dim Solo mode which allows non-soloed tracks to be heard at a reduced volume. Beneath the Record button is a button for changing between Envelope and Offset mode. Offset mode allows automation to be offset, adjusting a whole envelope by the same amount. The two buttons at the bottom right are for globally changing automation. The W turns the ability to write automation on or off. The R the ability to read automation. The ACT module allows us to select and configure control surfaces, as well as providing information on the current one. The Screen Set module indicates the current screen set number. It also allows them to be changed, renamed, copied, revert any changes made, lock or unlock them, and import them from another open project. CPU, hard drive, and memory activity can be monitored in the Performance module. The Punch Record module configures and controls punch record settings. It can be turned on and off as well as the region set either from the selection or by specifying times. The Select module allows selection times to be set either by direct entry or by using the Set From and Set Through equals Now icons. The Marker module is for marker navigation. From here, markers can be added selected directly or stepped through sequentially. The Event Inspector is used for modifying selected clips and is especially useful for editing MIDI events, both in the Track View and Piano Roll View. Select a clip or notes and then either change the values using precise entry values or using a percentage of the original values. For example, changing note duration to 50% will reduce all notes by half keeping the relevant differences to each other, while changing it to 960 will change them all to quarter notes, assuming that ticks per quarter is set to that resolution. Finally, we have the Sync module used for controlling and configuring MIDI timecode and MIDI sync settings. Towards the top is a drop-down selector used for selecting the timecode format. Beneath that, any incoming timecode signal is indicated if sonar is being synced to an external unit. The button at the bottom left is used to select the sync type. 
This controls where sonar gets its timing information from. Unless synced to an external master device, this will normally be on audio. Internal can be used for MIDI-only projects, but as soon as audio is used in the project, it will automatically change to audio. The two buttons toward the bottom right are used to send MIDI sync and MIDI timecode to external devices. When lit, sonar will transmit the relevant information 